How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome to yet another Pokemon or as Wi-Fi battle. Today we are going to be facing off against David aka Mr. Give Your Girl Back on Twitter. One of the funniest names I've ever seen. And David has been wanting to battle me since yesterday but I was kind of busy because I had a day fully devoted to streaming. By the way, if you guys are not following me on Twitch, I'll make sure to link my Twitch account in the description. But today we're going to be having a OU slash UU battle. It's kind of like a mixed tier. Um... And my team, it looks good on paper, but I'm not really sure how well it's going to perform. I just came up with it on a whim. It has, I don't even remember what it has to be honest, I have to, I have to see my team again. I think it has Rotom Heat, okay, Rotom Heat, Mega Aggron, Heracross, Suicune, Seismitoad, and Dragalge. So it looks good on paper. Again, I'm not really sure how well it's going to perform. And David is actually bringing some pretty interesting stuff. Dusknoir and Cacturn are Pokemon you never really see. And he also has a Roserade. I'm not sure if it's the especially defensive Roserade or if it's the offensive Roserade. Uh, it's probably a Stealth Rock Defog, Empoleon, Mega Aggron, obviously, and Scarf Shandy. Okay, so, um, what is my best play here? Who should I lead off with? I kind of want to lead off with Toad. Just to set up rocks, I'm pretty sure rocks will help, especially for that shandy. And um Yeah. I think I think I think we're pretty good if we lead off with Toad. Lead off with Toad, set up rocks. And uh we'll just see where we go from there. Alright, so who is he gonna Oh Dusk Noir? Now that's a little interesting. That is a little interesting. Okay, so I wasn't expecting him to lead off with Dusk Noir. I assumed he was gonna lead off with Agron to set up his own rocks. Or Empoleon to set up rocks again. Now, I have no reason not to go for Stealth Rock here, so I'm going to go for Stealth Rock. I wouldn't have minded to go for a Skull just to get a burn on Dusknoir. My question is, is this... Okay, will the wisp That's fine. That's A-OK -okay with me. I don't mind Seismitoad getting burned. Because honestly, the only reason why Seismitoad is here is just to poison things and to set up rocks. And occasionally burn stuff with Skull, so that's what I'm going to go for right now. Hopefully I do get the burn. If I get the burn, that's going to be awesome. Now, I was wondering if this Dust Noir was the Assault Vest set, but it's not. He's going to go for EQ. Now, because he is burned, that's not going to do anything to, to Seismitoad here. Even though Dust Noir, I believe, has Colossal Attack. Luckily enough, it's not going to do much because, like I mentioned before, it is burned. So he is the bulkier set. Now, I have no reason not to go for Scald again. Seismitoad has pretty much served its purpose. Now, he does have Empoleon. And I'm assuming he has the defog, which would be kind of bad. So I don't want him to go for defog because I need rocks for Shandy. He's going to withdraw Dust Noir, probably going to go into Cacturn. Yeah. Cacturn, I believe, has Water Absorb or Storm Dream, I believe. I'm not really sure. Yeah, Water Absorb. All right. Um, I would go ahead and sack off Seismitoad here, but I might actually need Seismitoad for something. I might actually need it for the Dust Noir, because Dust Noir can't touch Seismitoad. So, with that in mind, I am going to switch out. Now, he has a pretty good opportunity here to go for a Swords Dance. But honestly, I really don't care. So, I'm going to go out into Dragalge. And pretty much just Draco, because he doesn't have a Fairy type. He can switch out into Aggron, which would be kind of upsetting. Uh, but, oh, Power Up Punch. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was going to go for like... Um, Swords Dance or something. I can't go for a Sludge Wave, but again, he might have Aggron and that would be pretty bad. So, what I can do here is I can go for a Focus Blast predicting Aggron, or I can go for a Draco. I'm gonna go for a Focus Blast because he is part Dark. And, uh, the reason why I went for Focus... Oh my gosh, that does so much. Don't miss. Thank you. Um, as I was saying, the reason I went for Focus Blast as opposed to Draco is because he does have Aggron. What? Focus Sash. Okay, Focus Sash, huh? Interesting. I'm gonna switch out here. I'm gonna go on to Heracross. Um, I'm predicting a Sucker Punch, that's why. So I'm gonna go on to Heracross. Yeah. And then here, I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, honestly. Yeah, knock off, why not? He's gonna withdraw Cacturn, gonna go into what? Shandy, maybe? 
Dusknoir. But that's... I don't really agree with that play because I do have the rocks up. So it makes no sense. I would have just sacked it off, honestly. He could have gotten into Dusknoir for free. But, I mean... I mean, Dusknoir really had no purpose because it was burned anyway, so... Now, what is he going to bring next? If it's Shandy, it can knock off again. Roserade? What's Roserade going to do? Set up spikes? Huh, interesting. I don't really know what this thing is going to do. Luckily enough, though, I do have a perfect counter to it in the form of Aggron. If I really wanted to go into Aggron right now. But he still has a Chandelure up. I don't want Chandelure to come in. So... He might actually double out, predicting me to go into Aggron, probably. Alright, now, actually, I don't need Toad anymore. So I'm going to go into Seismic Toad, because I don't really need it. And then I could go into uh, Heracross for free and Megahorn, if I wanted to. Dazzling Gleam. Interesting. I guess I could have gotten out into uh, Rotom, if I really wanted to. Because Rotom was an option. And I am Specs. Overheat would have definitely hurt anything on his team. Except for Shandy because of uh, Flesh Fire. So I'm just going to sack off Seismic Toad here because I don't need it anymore. And if he goes for Leaf Storm, Energy Ball. Okay. If he goes, I was going to say if he went for Leaf Storm, his special attack would have dropped. So I could have gotten out into Rotom pretty much taking any one hit. I think now is a perfect time for me to go out into Aggron and pretty much just Heavy Slam. Or I can go for an EQ predicting Shandy to come in. Is that really what I want to do though? Yeah, we'll go for that. We'll go for Heavy Slime regardless if Shandy comes in. Because Rocks is going to hurt Shandy pretty well. And uh, Heavy Slime is just additional damage. So we can do that. Cacturn. He's just going to stack off Cacturn. So now he can... Uh, okay, that's actually a good play. I agree with that because he could get uh, Shandy out for free. So he sacked off Cacturn, now he can come out with Shandy for free. So that was a pretty decent play. So now he's going to force the switch on me. So I can go out into Rotom and go for a Volt switch. But then Rotom is going to take some damage and I don't think I want that. Or he still has Empoleon actually. I completely forgot he still has Empoleon. Because I know he's going to go for a defog, I'm just going to stay here in Earthquake. I know he's going to go for a defog. Oh, he's not! Is that Specs damage? Huh. Interesting. I thought he was going to go for a defog to get the rocks out. Wow, interesting play. Very interesting play. I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Wow, okay, okay. I've never seen that before, actually. Usually the uh, the, the Empoleons that I see are very specially defensive. I have come across a few that are Specs. And that might have been an example of a Specs Empoleon. I know it wasn't Life Orb because he didn't take any Life Orb recoil. So it must have been Specs. Maybe Assault Vest? That's also a thing. So he's going to go out into his own Aggron. Now this is obviously going to be the Mega. Um, I don't think I have a use for my Aggron anymore. Do I have any counters to Aggron though? I have Suicune. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, let's go out into Suicune. I think that's the best play here. Because I can go for a Scald and I can get a Burn. I wonder if he has the same set I'm running on my Mega Aggron. Toxic, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Heavy Slam. So, we knew this was going to be a thing. Mega Aggron, okay. Rock Polish! Wow! David is coming in with all of the surprises. Okay, um... Now, do I Scald? Because I do have Roar. 
This Suicune is a little different. It's not your typical Crocoon set. It's actually a VGC set that I got off of the Smogun forums. Um, and and I read that it's actually very, very good. It has Tailwind, Ice Beam, Scald, and Roar. Now, I can go for a Scald here, hoping to get a burn, or I can go for a Roar. And, um... And force him to go out into something else. I'm just gonna go for a Scald here, honestly, because I do have Rotom. Oh, I'm gonna outspeed anyway. Okay. Can I get a burn? Yes. Okay, good. Stone Edge. Eating it. And we'll go for another Scald. And that should take out Aggron, and it does. That was a crit. It wasn't needed, though. We did about half the first time we used it, so that Scald was just insult to injury, honestly. So now I predict him to go out into Roserade. He could go out into Roserade for free. That's going to force me to go out into Aggron. And honestly, I think Roserade can knock out Aggron with the Leaf Storm, if he even has Leaf Storm. I don't even know. Can I take an Energy Ball? I can actually... I might be able to get off an Ice Beam here. I outspeed Roserade. How do I outspeed Roserade? Huh. Very interesting. I'm gonna go out. That's gonna take me out. I thought I could have lived one, because Suicune does have some natural bulk, but I guess it wasn't enough. If I remember his team correctly, it was Roserade, Agron. Oh, he still has Shandy. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into Heracross and go for knockoff. I pretty much have this in the bag. Or I can go for a rock slide if I really wanted to. Hmm. So it has 65 and I think it doubles. I'm gonna go for knockoff. I think knockoff is the best play here. I have no reason not to go for knockoff. So yeah, I'm gonna go for knockoff. Alright. That was a crit, but again, it wasn't needed. It was completely pointless. Insult to injury again. Expert belt. Interesting. And Shandy comes out last. And because of rocks, this knockoff is definitely gonna kill. Air Balloon. So it's not Scarfed. Interesting. Wow, okay. David really, really surprised me. Some of these sets weren't expected. Wow. But that, uh, that about wraps up today's battle. Mr. Give Your Girl Back, that was a very good game. And I enjoyed it a lot. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's UU battle, please make sure to drop a like down below. Likes are very appreciated. Let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes. That would be really, really awesome. It will make me a very happy guy. But that's going to wrap up today's battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, stay awesome.